All people round the earth rejoice to God most high our sovereign King. Serve God with cheerful heart and voice. With all your tongues God's glory sing. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Sunday, June the 29th. It's the third Sunday after Pentecost and week seven in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 118, Luke chapter 13, verse 10 to 17, and Revelation chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, give thanks to God most high, for God is good and God's mercy endures forever. Alleluia, Psalm 118. Alleluia, give thanks to God most high, for God is good and God's mercy endures forever. Let Israel say God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, God's mercy endures forever. Let them that fear God the Most High say, God's mercy endures forever. I called upon you in my distress. Then you answered me and set me free. You are on my side, I will not fear. What can mere mortals do to me? You are at my side to help me, <clears throat> therefore I shall see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in you than to put confidence in mortals. It is better to trust in you than to put confidence in rulers. The nations plotted against me, but in your name I will destroy them. They buzzed about me like bees. They blazed like a fire of thorns, for in your name I will destroy them. They have thrust sore at me that I might fall, but you, my God, have helped me. You are my strength and my song, and you have become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing in salvation is heard in the tents of the righteous. Your right hand triumphs. Your right hand is exalted. Your right hand triumphs. I shall not die but live and declare your works, my God. You have chastened me, but you have not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will enter and sing your praise. This gate of yours is where the righteous shall enter. I praise you, for you have heard me, and you have become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. And all of this is your doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which you have made. We rejoice and are glad in it. Hosanna, God, most high, Hosanna. Send us your prosperity. Blessed are they that come in your name, and we have blessed them from your house. You are God who has shown us light. Bind the sacrifice with the cords even unto the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I praise you. You are my God, I exalt you. O oh, give thanks to God most high, for God is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give thanks to God most high, for God is good and God's mercy endures forever. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, <clears throat> chapter 13, beginning at verse 10. Now Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over and quite unable to stand up straight. And when Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are set free of your ailment. 
And when he laid his hands on her, immediately she stood up straight and began praising God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had cured her on the Sabbath, kept saying to the crowd, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured, not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, You hypocrites! Does not each of you on the Sabbath unite his, untie his ox or give his donkey from the manger and lead it away to give it water? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen long years, be set free from this bondage on the Sabbath day? When he said this, all his opponents were put to shame, and the entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things that he was doing. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Ron Francis, Brother Allen, Brother Thomas, Brother Todd Dunstan, Brother William Paul, Brother Raymond Patrick, Brother Richard Robert, Brother Max Bartholomew, Brother William John, Brother Donald Columba. For the poor and the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation, and free the world of poverty and famine. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who has begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all of your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, great and marvelous are your works, O sovereign God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O ruler of the saints. Who shall not fear and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship before you, for your judgments are revealed. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia.